All right. What I'd like to do now is go through. Well, not right now. I don't have any. Yoga Ready? No. What I'd like to do is go around and do this word problem. All right? Uh, now, guys, remember, when we're doing a word problem, there's a couple questions that we can ask ourselves that really help us do the word problem, right? The first thing is we need to make sure we read through the whole word problem. So um, this says, Yola paints a room that has 400 square feet of wall space in two and a half hours. Does it not? Do you not see it on the other side? Don't worry. It's not wrong. Yes, it is. Oh, I, I can't get this all. It's sliding. It's okay. All right, so I should go. So, at this rate, how long will it take her to paint a room that has 700 square feet of wall space? So that should be a. So what they're asking, guys, is um, what we need to first do. So first thing we did was we read it all the way through. The next thing we want to do is we want to determine what is the question asking. And a lot of times, sometimes it's even good to rewrite that question. It says, how long will it take her to paint a room that has 700 square feet of wall space? So what are we asking? We're asking, how long will it take her All right, so that's exactly what we're asking. We're asking how long will it take her to paint, all right? Now, the next thing is we don't know how long it's gonna take her, right? That's something we need to figure out. So what we're gonna wanna do is assign that time a variable, all right? So the next thing we need to do is we need to determine a, a variable. So, Stephen, why don't you go ahead and give me a variable that you'd like to use? X. X, all right? And X is gonna represent what, Stephen? The, what kind of paint? The how many? How much paint she has? How much? How long it takes her to paint? Um, how long will it take? How long? Yes, exactly. If you guys notice, your variable and your question are very similar. They're similar. They're they're intertwined. They they work with each other, right? So that my variable is going to be um, the time it takes her to paint. And not just the time it takes her to paint, but the time it takes her to paint 720 square feet. Okay? Because we already know how long it takes her to paint 400 square feet. That's 2.5 hours. So this is the time it takes her to paint, I should write, 720 square feet. All right. Now we need to do the hard part, which is setting up an equation. And one thing I noticed about this is I don't have, remember when we were doing other word problems, we could say like, it's twice as many, so you can do like 2x and, you know, plus 5, so you added 5. Well, here we don't have any of that operations going on, do we? We don't have addition. I don't see subtraction. I don't see multiplication. And I'm not seeing really kind of any division, like wording that's really going on. Um, however, what I do see it's kind of going on is I'm seeing comparisons, right? I'm comparing how much wall space it is compared to how many hours it takes her to paint. So what I have is a comparison. And remember, remember whenever we compare two quantities, that is what we call a ratio. So let's compare 400 square feet <laughs> to 2.5 hours. All right? Well, guys, that's not gonna help us solve for x, right? To make help us solve for x, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set up a, yes, really. Yeah. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up a proportion. And remember, proportion is going to be when we have a ratio equal to another ratio. Yeah. So here I have 400 square feet is the 2.5 hours as 720 square feet. Can you please stop using the tape? All right. Just put it back on. Just don't use the tape. <laughs> so 720 square feet is to how many hours? Well, what did we set for hours? We don't know, right? That was our x. <coughs> and we throw that calculator or oh, Jesus. So now, using our process that we learned, I can use cross multiplication. 
Good afternoon, Ms. Thanks. You are your afternoon, Neil. And I'll attend. Attention, all juniors and seniors. And gentlemen, don't put anything away, please. We'll go through this. Let me finish up. 2.5 times 720. I'll show a thing as why my square feet, square feet are canceled out, all right, and, um, oh, is it? Awesome. So this is 400, uh, 400 square feet times X, right? And this is square feet times hours, right? Hours times square feet, square feet hours, and this was just square feet. So when I divide by square feet, my square feet cancel out, and I'm just left with hours. So that's why it's 4.5 hours. All right, so just make sure guys, when you have a word problem, that you set it all up, you read through, find the question, set up your variable, write out your equation, which this one was a proportion as my equation, and then solve, and then make sure you write it out. So therefore, it then write it all the way out. So you can say it took her, or it took Yola, 4.5 hours to paint. All right, there you go. Let's have a good weekend. Yeah.